These five DIYs will for sure impress everyone who sees them. Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. My name is Leanne Epp and let's get started. All right, for this DIY, I am going to take one of these Dollar Tree wreaths and I'm just gonna tie a couple of um, uh, just knots here on one of the sides or in this case would be the top of the wreath form. And this is because I'm going to be cutting the wreath. So I'm gonna be cutting one end and I don't want everything to come undone. So I just wanna tie it a few times on each side of the cut that I'm gonna be making. And then once I had it cut, I just stretched it out just a little bit. I'm not looking for it to be completely flat, of course, because it's going to be a wreath form, but I want it to be open. I saw a wreath recently at Hobby Lobby. It was my first time walking into Hobby Lobby in years, and I was so overwhelmed with so many beautiful things, and I saw a wreath there that looked very similar to what I am going to be making here. So I am going to wrap um, the ends of each uh, end <laughs> with some nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and as you can see I added a strand right as I was like halfway through that way I have something to hang the wreath from and you'll see it it'll all come together so I'm just going to hot glue and wrap around as needed and then when I get to the end I am just going to wrap it around the nautical rope that is uh, vertically uh, just so that I can finish it off and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And look how beautiful that wreath is already looking. So I'm going to take these um, picks. These are from the Dollar General. And I believe they're like eucalyptus. And I'm just going to start. Uh, I literally pulled every strand apart. And I'm just going to start placing them. I'm not even going to hot glue. I'm just going to stick it right in. And I'm going to just focus on the bottom of the wreath. Kind of like circling up towards the sides. Once I had everything where I wanted, I did add some uh, wire. This is just so that everything stays put and it doesn't fall downwards with gravity. And then I'm going to place some of these beautiful, it's like a vibrant, like a reddish orange color. And I just love them. They're from the Dollar Tree. And of course, they're just a dollar for the pick. So I cut off all the flowers from the pick. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Just press them in until I see what I like. And we are just about done, guys. And I'm so excited I started with this one because it is just beautiful. I love the way it looks. I love how it has a farmhouse yet very, um, almost very tropical to it. I just really love the way it turned out. All right, for this next DIY, I am going to take these three pieces of two by four. They're leftover from projects. This one that I'm staining here first, gosh, it was like dirty, dingy, and I didn't even clean it that much. I want 
these to stay very grungy. We're going to make a stack of faux books using these scrap 2x4. I've done something similar to this. I believe it was during the Christmas season. This one I wanted to be a little bit more neutral farmhouse kind of look and I want this to look like it's been around like it's had so many years like it's grungy dirty <laughs> does that even make sense so I'm going to stain all of them even the one that is already painted white I will be staining it with Waverly antiquing wax this is just going to add a darker base on the bottom and for the white one it's just going to again grunge it up a little bit dirty it up so that it doesn't look so white crisp once the stain was um applied i'm just going to wipe off some excess with a dry towel and then i'm going to start painting them except for the white one i'm going to leave the white one just as is the larger uh, black i am going to paint using moss from waverly and i'm going to do one pretty rough coat so i'm not looking for perfection at all and then the next one i am going to paint using um i believe it's called venetian yellow and it's by rustoleum and it's actually milk paint and um, again another one rough coat on this one once they are fully dry i will be distressing them pretty heavily using a 150 grit sandpaper and my electric sander All right, so now I want to create some straps to wrap around the book. So I'm going to take this leftover piece of drop cloth and I'm going to cut about, mm, about an inch and a half to two inch strips. I don't know how long they are. It was just what I had. You know, it was like the length of the strip that I had. I'm going to take some more of that antiquing wax and I'm going to uh, dirty this up also. I wanted to kind of match the style of the books. And once I had it where I wanted, I'm just going to start wrapping them, literally just wrapping them one on each side of the books and tie them up with a knot. And then the leftover straps that I have from each knot, I'm going to tie them together in, um, on the top. And then I'm going to take more of that antiquing wax and I'm going to grunge it up even more. I want these books to look like they've been stacked like this for a while. So I'm going to, wherever the straps and the books meet with each other, I'm going to add a little bit more of that antiquing wax, wiping off the excess. This is just going to make it look a little bit more cohesive and like they've been stacked like this for a while. It's, I am wiping off here some final X's. We're just about done. And I think these books turned out so grungy, so beautiful. I love them. These color really complement each other and they just look old. I love it. Friends, don't forget that this month's giveaway is a pair of premium crafting scissors. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is watch and comment. Any comments made in April of 2021 will be entered for this giveaway. All right, for this next DIY, I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree Easter welcome signs. I have used them over and over again because I bought so many of them. I just love the size of the board. And I'm going to remove the little tails as well as the first, like the portion that has the artwork. I am not going to take this crafting paper that was sent to be my Massey during my last challenge. She got it on Amazon. And I'm just going to, um, I sprayed it with some adhesive spray from the Dollar Tree. And then on the bottom portion, I'm going to use the scrap leftover piece right there and just add it through using some tacky glue. Talk and tell what you want to hear now. But 
I am now going to take this wreath form from Target Dollar Spa. I'm going to remove the saw claw hook on the back and then I'm going to just leave it like this. You're not going to see a lot of it, but it, you will see a little bit of it enough where it's going to add a little bit more detail. And it's also going to add a little bit more um, thickness to the board because I'm going to be stapling some greenery here in a little bit. So I'm just going to hot glue it to the center of the board. And now, as you see here, I'm going to start stapling literally pieces of greenery that I have had here for a while, some random pieces. And what I was looking for here is I wanted it to have like a wreath form that was very random, that was very almost like naturally grown out in the fields and it's just been tangled up with all kinds of other flowers and things <laughs> that's my description my official description for this wreath and so yeah i'm just going to speed it up like you see here because i am literally just adding and stapling adding and stapling until i see what i like and that's it for this one guys i did add that claw hook to the back of it so i can hang it but i think it turned out so unique so beautiful let me know what you think of this one down in the um comments For this next DIY, I'm gonna take this piece of leftover wood. Um, it, it was actually part of a kind of like a hook that um, it already has like a little claw hook in the back and everything. It's already set for it, but I didn't want to get rid of it because I just liked how kind of how farmhouse it should look. Now it did have some white stains on it, so I did um, dry brush some white chalk paint. This is Rustoleum from Linen White. I mean linen white from Rustolian. And I'm going to add this hook. This, these are from Amazon. I get these all the time. I have them on hand all the time. I covered up the little hole there in the center to make sure you didn't see it. Then using my Cricut, I cut out this little wreath and the word home just to add a little bit more, um, just character to it. And then I'm going to take this wreath form. This is actually a little smaller than the one from the Dollar Tree. I get these on Amazon. They're like a packet of 10 and they're very inexpensive. And I believe I do have them down in my Amazon store, which is linked down below. If you do not know by now, I do have an Amazon store, which I carry a lot of these tools, a lot of these paints and supplies. So check it out if you're interested. So again, I'm just going to start, um, putting in some of these flowers from the Dollar Tree, keep it very fresh, very light. And this is what I'm gonna hang from the little hook. And I think it turned out super cute. It don't even have to be hung with a wreath. It could be used for a scarf, purse, or even keys. Beautiful. And this next DIY is going to be very simple. This is a cutting board. It's a decorative one that I got at Hobby Lobby at 50% off. And I cut out the word home, except I left the O out. And I will try to figure out which font I used because this was a very unique font. Um, but yeah, I cut it out and I guess you see kind of where I'm going here. I'm just going to spell out the word home vertically. And then the O is going to be a wreath form. I am using again one of those um, wreath forms from Amazon and these blue flowers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the same process cutting out little branches of it and then just putting them in no hot glue needed just making sure they are all the way in and putting them all around the wreath form and then I am going to place a screw right where the wreath form can hang and that's it for this one guys this would be beautiful for a kitchen decor so farmhouse very fresh looking for summer now and it could also be changed into um, fall and then Christmas. So I think it's a pretty cool thing to have in your home. All right, guys. So we are 
done with this one and we are done for today i'd love to hear which one is your favorite of all of these i want to say my favorite is the first wreath i love it i think it turned out so cute this one turned out really cute too though but let me know which one is your favorite and if you're visiting for the first time or if you're visiting from d's channel welcome i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you consider subscribing and joining our youtube family and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back as always guys i will have a link here with tons more of inspiration for you if you oh don't forget to visit d and her channel which is linked down below and yeah that's it i'll see you later and have a blessed day bye I want you for myself